Title, From Rivalry to Friendship, The Carverillo and BFCN Saga In a digital landscape where views and likes were currency, a YouTuber named Carverillo found himself at the center of attention though not for the right reasons. Known for his provocative videos, he decided to target a more popular YouTuber, BFCN fan whose charming personality and engaging content had garnered a massive following. Carverlo was determined to take BFCN fan down a notch. Chapter 1 The Setup Carverlo concocted a plan to turn the audience against BFCN fan. He released a series of videos filled with exaggerated claims and fabricated controversies, all designed to make BFCN fan look bad. He's just a fraud, Carverlo shouted in one video. His fans are brainwashed. At first, some of Carverlo's followers joined in, creating a wave of negativity. But as the backlash grew, BFCN fan remained unfazed. Instead of retaliating, he chose to engage with his fans positively, turning the situation into a humorous challenge. Let's have fun with this, BFCN fan said in a video response. How about we all just enjoy some good vibes? Chapter 2 the consequences. As Carverlo's scheme unraveled, he received a rude awakening. His hateful rhetoric led to a significant drop in his subscriber count. Meanwhile, BFCN fans' popularity skyrocketed even higher. Frustrated, Carverillo escalated his attacks, but this time, he attracted unwanted attention. BFCN fans' dad, a towering figure who was not one to tolerate bullying caught wind of the situation. He confronted Carvalho one afternoon, determined to put an end to the harassment. You think you can just bully my son? Not on my watch. He declared, causing Carvalho to retreat in fear. Chapter 3, The Reckoning Back at home, Carvalho faced the consequences of his actions. His parents were disappointed, grounding him for the mess he had created. All his toys were confiscated and his once beloved snacks were replaced with broccoli and carrots. To make matters worse, he learned that BFCN fan had received a massive sponsorship deal, resulting in a new gaming setup, toys, and a lavish party that Carverillo once dreamed of attending. Feeling the weight of his actions, Carverillo hit rock bottom. He imagined himself as a character in one of his wildest video ideas of getting skinned alive and dropped onto a vat of boiling oil a metaphor for his burning shame. Chapter 4, The Unexpected Turn As he sat in his dark room, scrolling through BFCN fans' videos filled with laughter and camaraderie, something changed within Carverello. He realized how much he missed being part of a community, the joy of creating content, and the thrill of sharing laughs. He decided it was time to make amends. With a deep breath, Carverello reached out to BFCN fan. Hey, can we talk? I messed up. He typed, his heart racing. To his surprise, BFCN fan responded almost immediately. Of course, let's meet up. Chapter 5, Building Bridges. When they met, BFCN fan was gracious. We all make mistakes. It's never too late to change, he said, encouraging Carverillo to find a positive way to express himself. The two YouTubers spent hours talking, laughing, and brainstorming ideas for future content. Slowly, Carverillo began to realize the power of friendship and collaboration over rivalry. They even decided to film a video together, where Carverillo publicly apologized to BFCN fan and their fans, sharing the lessons he learned from his mistakes. Chapter 6, The New Beginning With the support of BFCN fan, Carverillo's channel began to recover. He focused on creating content that spread positivity and highlighted the importance of kindness in the community. Together, they encouraged their followers to lift each other up instead of tearing each other down. Carverillo had turned his life around, and as he watched BFCN fan flourish, he felt a genuine happiness for his friend. The rivalry that once consumed him transformed into a lasting friendship. In the end, Carverillo learned that it was far better to be a part of a community that celebrated each other rather than tearing one another apart. The boiling oil scenario became a distant memory, a reminder of how he had risen from negativity to embrace the power of friendship. And as for his toys and favorite foods, they were replaced by something even better genuine connections and a newfound purpose in the world of YouTube.